right, for today's blog, um, I just want to say is, um, tomorrow I gotta work 8 in the morning to 5, so, and then I finally get off. They have had me working technically 6 days in a row, so tomorrow is the 6th day. Um, like I said, unfortunately, Dakin did not show up for work last night like I figured. So what they did was they called in Andrew. So, and I don't want to say this to Menards. You keep doing it to them high school boys when you're calling in Aiden, Andrew, and Justin in on their day off when Jake or Dakin don't show up. They're eventually going to quit. Um, what I don't want to go saying is, I'm hoping that, um, like with today, well, this is my suggestion, my suggestion only. They should have Dan out here with me until 4 o'clock because they had on the schedule out for today and I looked at it yesterday and it says Andrew's supposed to start work at 4 and I'm like you know you can have Dan come inside real close to 4 o'clock and then Andrew comes in and I'm like you know when I look at this you ain't going to really need me here even until 5 then. But, like I said, um, today I work 10 to 5, and, you know, the other thing I don't want to say is, you know, what are you going to do once these high school boys do start quitting? Because, I mean, you know, or let's say if I find a different job and I leave Menards, you know, a place that's willing to take a chance on me and give me more opportunities so I'm getting here. So I'll say this. You know, like, for example, if I get to, um, go to a retailer and they let me be on the sales floor and stocking in that, whereas Menards hasn't even given me that chance. They promised it to me the year I started here, told me I'd be only cashiering for three months, and then I'd be on the sales floor. Never happened. I I tell you, you know. Because like I said, um. But. Like with, um. I think like with yesterday. I was sore and sore and. Thank goodness thing was yesterday the head cashier Alyssa got told literally by the customer this. They didn't want me doing the carry out. The item was too heavy. They say, Oh, it weighs two hundred pounds. Can you get us a couple guys? And she got bamboozled. She didn't know what to say to him. So like I said, now they're starting now the customers are starting to tell them flat out that they don't want me doing the carry out. Yeah, I still have a shoulder injury. My right shoulder is, yes, is inflaming again. So, on top of it was my right knee getting really bad. I can barely walk when I'm at work. Even there's times where my left foot is fucking swollen at work. And I'm sitting here trying to bounce around to move. Yeah. So. 
and like I I wish I could tell a customer but then they'll take it as you'd refuse to do carry out is I physically can't lift a toilet even with one hand or two hands um it's just way too heavy for me Now if a customer finds out, you know, they'd be really mad, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but, like last night, um, I did like a little pre-Black Friday shopping. So, all I decided on was getting one ornament, and it was um, the Becky Lynch one off of Shop WWE. Just because I'm like, well, this way I have the four horsewomen on the tree. <clears throat> so, the bigger thing, like, I don't want to tell anyone right now is, um, I noticed so many of these ones at Menards, they have quitted. And, um, like, I don't want to say to Menards is right now, I could say this. I know my hours ain't going to get cut real bad, but I'd worry about January. But, you know, I'm trying to think smart in my head, too, because it's like, if I could get out of Menards, let's do it correctly. Let's get out of Menards. Give that two week notice. Yeah, no one wait till, you know. Because if we could get out of an arts, get a job offer, and um, taking the job in retail, let's say, a full time job, our own ship will fall, hopefully. Especially if I could get back into Walmart somehow, if they would bypass the red flag. Um, If we could have our last week of work at Menards being the week of Christmas, I still get that bonus. So, if I still get the bonus, I don't have to be here for that meeting. I leave Menards, and I'm free and clear then. So, you don't really want to say it too much to to people, because it's like, yeah, even I've been thinking, because I know we need that, that money, and, you know, like, like I don't want to say it, no offense to DVR, but... I don't really want to work at Dollar Tree because they would not pay me what I would need to leave Menards. They're basically going to tell you that to your guys' face and laugh. And they'll seriously take it, try to say it to CRI, you know. That's what I mean by guys this year I when I'm talking on that but um they'll be laughing at your eyes face and say and you know she ain't gonna leave Menards for us and take a seven and some odd cent an hour job when she's getting paid eleven ninety eight an hour Because that's what they'll say, and they'll be laughing at Menard, not Menard, but Dollar Tree will be laughing at CRI, and CRI will be embarrassed and will walk out the door, basically. Honestly. <laughs>